Hello everybody, how's it going? Mork here and I'm back with some more inscription. I'm actually thinking of playing like an end deck here. This used to be like my favorite uh, starting deck, but then I like really started growing sick of it when I started playing uh, too many skull runs with it and uh, failing. So I'm gonna be choosing this deck. And again, I'm, I'll be playing with 120 challenge points. Uh, you're right. With boss rares, because they're just kind of fun. Right, let's go. Uh, so I should remember the Carver, which we probably won't go there. We probably won't go to the Flame either. We'll probably go to the Sacrifice, if anything, and we'll probably pass the Skunk Sigil onto the flying and making a flying and a sort of a uh, what do you call it um, a kind of a kingfisher ooh and we got the cat as well so I also kind of want and we got fecundity as well again I've been getting so many fecunditys lately ooh we also have like the dire wolf sigil that we could pass on an ant Hmm. Uh, we have quite a few good options here. Oh, we, uh, we also have like the red heart combo. Um, what if we made like the flying at like um, make it make it be able to double attack? It could be kind of strong. What about like field mice? Because field mice would be also very good on this kind of a deck. I feel like these options are all very, very good. Very, very good. Um, except for this one. Okay, I think I'll grab the cat. Because I really want cat for the ant queen. It's going to be very good with that. And here we either grab the dire wolf or field mice. Maybe let's just pick the Dire Wolf for now. And we're gonna be passing the Sigil. Um, hmm. The question is, what am I passing? I think I'm gonna pass the Dire Wolf Sigil on the Flying Ant, and we'll try to get like more Ants. The thing is, we don't have like more Ants right now. Uh, the other good play is to put the on the cat the on sorry on the ant queen the cat sigil, but I think I might have like a problem trying to play the star wolf. I'll just go with the classic. Just put like the the cat sigil on the ant queen. I don't think this is necessarily good though. We'll see if we get punished for it or not. Okay, so we have the combo. We have the combo. So here we just have to pass. And now you're gonna be able to see like why Ant Queen with this sigil is so powerful. So we have like the ant, uh, the Aqua Squirrels, right? The Ant, the Ant Queen goes in, and we are able to play the Worker Ant immediately. And with that, we're also able to play the, this flying ant. And we just win. We don't need the backpack right now, we are pretty good with what we have. The question is if I want to go to a trapper. I don't really have that much overkill. Not really. And I cannot like buy a knife either. I think a card is gonna be better. I would rather have like a card right now rather than a pelt. Um. 
All of these are not particularly interesting. I suppose the direwolf sigil with Pronghorn could be... Or like a raven with direwolf sigil could actually be kind of legit. Um... Actually, like, the raven with the direwolf sigil would be kind of legit. It would be like an alternative win condition. Okay, I think I'll go for the raven. Oh, and we have another carver here. Um, so we don't like any of these, actually. This is just horrible. <laughs> I can't pick this up. Uh, I don't plan to play any, like, direwolf combos, so like, wolf combos in the future. So I think the play here is just to grab this head, and I might get, like, some potentially broken combo with Gek later. here mm. this is the wild bull yeah um mm, this is kind of bad but we have time so we'll just take the damage and nothing else spawns so we have uh two rounds to draw into something. We have a flying ant. Um, it should be fine next uh, next round. So here we'll just play the raven. I don't think I need to be like greedy or anything. And we got the Ang Queen combo. We might be even able to get a good overkill here. Oh no, actually we won't. Um, no, actually we will. We will be able to get a good overkill. That's awesome. We'll just have to kill him, not this round, but the next round. With a flying ant. I will go here because he might be. We'll e we're either getting like a golden pelt or we're getting like an insect, and we're kind of like an insect based deck. We got a beehive. Um, mm. that's not great. Another wood carver. I want to see like more sacrificial altars so that I can like make my deck smaller. Oh my god. Okay, so we have like the crazy combo. We have like, we're ready for the Gek. Because this is the best sigil in the game. So now we need to get Gek or we need to get the lizard. The, the, the small lizard. So many wood carvers here. Um, I think we're gonna be going for this. Hmm, that's not a great hand. That's not a great hand. So we'll just stall with the skunk a little bit. Yeah, this should give us a little bit of time. We got the end queen. So we'll see if we need to trigger uh, next round the trigger already. If nothing spawns, Nothing spawns, so we can kind of play this more slowly. 
Um, yeah, we can play this slow. Okay, we should be fine. So. And the order is quite important as well. So, nope. Uh, this one first. And this worker ant is going to kill. And the skills. Uh, do I want to turn anybody into a kingfisher? I could do it with this flying ant and it would not be a bad idea. Um, maybe this Kaku is a little bit better with the flying ant or something. No, uh, I'm looking for a specific card, uh, the lizard. Let's try looking for him. I didn't find him. Got a Wolverine here. Uh Wolverine Sigil on a Dire Wolf, but I'm not playing like a Dire Wolf deck. If anything, I would I wanna put this Sigil on the Raven, this Sigil on the Flying Ant. I think I'm gonna pick a Kingfisher and then maybe we pass this Kingfisher Sigil also on somebody else. But is this a good Sigil for any of my guys here? Not right now. They don't really generate many bones either. I think I'm gonna pick a Kingfisher. And just the Kingfisher is gonna be used as a stalling tool. And we got the insect head as well. So we got infinite insects. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go for this instead. Oh, this is an incredible combo because we have beehive already. So our beehive is now fixed. We have like infinite uh, bees. We have, we're going to have like infinite bees, which may be able to grow in attack. Okay. Oh, uh, I think I want to burn something here. Uh, right now, I feel like the only card that doesn't quite make sense is the Skunk in this deck. And are we turning the Flying Ant into, into the Kingfisher instead? I think this Skunk doesn't make sense. But what if the Skunk survives? Uh, what am I doing then? No, I should maybe just probably buff the Beehive a little bit. But the health doesn't matter because it it's always gonna come back with a bee if it's killed. Maybe I give up on the raven. Maybe I give up on the raven. Uh, and I pass this sigil to the flying ant. And I pass the skunk sigil to the kingfisher. I think I'm gonna get rid of the raven. Oh, this should be relatively easy, but I don't want to, of course, uh, jinx it. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is just a win. So, uh, because we have like infinite ant queens and stuff. 
Yeah, this is very good. And they're gonna come back to life as well. Oh, whoopsie. I shouldn't be winning just yet. Um... Oh, wow. This should be very good, no? Mm. Can I do it? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I can. So I can do this. Now I can play my Dire Wolf. Oh, whoopsie. No, 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 I'm doing it correctly. But I didn't need to sacrifice the poor skunk. I'm sorry about this. He didn't need to die. And the flank ant comes back. I just want some pelts to just win on turn one. I'm gonna grab these. We'll we'll play this a little bit slow. We'll play this a little bit slow. Okay. And now we go in, now we go in, let's go in. Okay, uh, one more thing, I'm gonna use this thing, so that if uh, if I get unlucky, and uh, I will have to go to a backpack thing, uh, I can like uh, get something better than this. And I definitely don't want like a pack rat. And yeah, we can actually sacrifice the dire wolf as well, and it's gonna be better. Looks good. My overkill is 23 right now. Uh, Amalgam is kind of good, because Amalgam is also, like, infinitely killable. A uh, Hodak I actually never played, but I don't think this necessarily makes sense for this deck. Or does it? Because I think I'll be able to just kill Leshy before I'm able to get this guy to something, to some relevant numbers. Um... I think Amoeba could be okay. What about Amalgam? Because Amalgam is also like uh, infinitely uh, sacrificable. And I could get the double strike sigil on the amalgam. Let's pick amalgam. I don't think it's necessarily a good play though. I think amoeba could have been better there. Okay, uh, so... Is there a card that I want to get removed from my deck? We also have this guy coming up. But we kind of want to go to the sacrifice thing. Um, 
What if I made the amalgam into a kingfisher? Let's go here. I'm not sure if we're trying to fail this one. Mm, I guess we'll try failing it. And which card are we removing? Um, the skunk? Maybe the kingfisher. I'm not sure what the skunk is doing in this deck, though. Cause... I mean, Skunk and Kingfisher are kind of like same card, almost. They're almost kind of like the same card. Maybe I just get rid of the Kingfisher. I think I'll just get rid of the king for sure. They're similar cards, similar cards. I'll get rid of the king for sure, it's fine. Mm -hmm. We'll go left. We don't have anything to combine. Uh, I don't know if this is bad. I guess it depends if there's gonna be like deadly snakes or something. Um... I think I pass here. An alpha. It's okay. This looks good to me. Rattler. Oh, very good, very good. Um, yeah. Looks good to me. Yeah, these these bees are gonna be quite good. And we just draw from our deck. Oh, hello. Amalgam. Very good. Um, yeah, so I can do this, actually. And then I can do this. Yo, maybe we should keep this dire wolf. Maybe we should, because, I mean, look at this. It's kind of crazy. At this point, I can just do whatever I want with Leshy. Yeah, I can do whatever I want because I have this crazy bee. 
And bees are pretty good. Also this ant queen. I mean, the game is just kind of playing itself at this point. Trapper coming up this way, but we have quite a few uh, of these. Maybe we can just buy a knife. Just buy a knife, I guess. I don't know if we even want a golden pelt. We don't have anything to put together either. Maybe I get rid of this. Gunk at this point. Because that's the card that doesn't do much of anything for me. I will grab this. Another flying ant. Okay, so we can like combine the. We have to go this way. We have to go that way. Uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. So we may be able to combine the flying ants somehow. I guess we're passing the skunk sigil on the flying end next. Mm, moving lizards. Lizards are usually easy. Unless there's like a rattler or something. Yeah, there is a rattler. Uh, there's a way to solve this. We can just play a skunk for one turn. And I think we will. And I was saying that the skunk is useless, but there you go. An alpha already. Okay, uh, now we do our crazy ant stuff. So we play this. We're going full, full uh, tempo. I think I'm supposed to play this guy here. All right, uh, here. Yeah, I'll probably grab the knife. Uh, I don't know if we want the golden pelt. We have 39. Well, I'll, I'll definitely take your knife, bro. We could technically grab two rabbit pelts and then combine them. We could do that. I think I'll just grab, or maybe like three wolf belts and we combine, uh, how much do I have? 32. So I could buy three wolf belts, but I don't have a way to combine them just yet. So I don't want to like shoot myself in the foot. I think I'll just grab like a gold, golden belt and be okay. Don't think that's... It was necessarily a good play either. And we have somebody who can make another card. Probably like another flying ant, right? So, here. I mean, this Kang was kind of like doing things, wasn't he? On like round one. We'll put this here. I should think about 
at this point, like, using the squirrel. Maybe I can get something better. Ooh, and it's ants. Um, and it's ants. Yeah, I think I should just end the fight here. Like, immediately. I think this is a little bit too dangerous. Uh, I'm thinking of getting, like, the bones, because I don't have, like, any bone card yet. And I should be able to farm easily bones with these types of cards, so... Alpha. That's not bad, it's actually pretty good. Um, hmm. So what I think I'm doubling up here is the beehive, actually. Because this uh, might not seem like it, but this seems to be my strongest card right now. Uh, but this ant queen is also quite good. Mm. I'll go for the beehive. Do I want the beehive? It's good. It should, the beehive should make my deck more consistent. That's okay, you did good. I don't think there's a point going to a wood carver, because at this point we have like the best combination that we can hope for. Uh, make flank ends for one round, we could do that. Emergency flank ants. Sis doable. Is there a point to black coat? Actually, there is. Uh, with a black coat, I would be able to play, what do you call it? The ant queen on round one. I already have a bunch of flying ants. Mm. I'll take the black goat. Okay, I have an idea. We'll just play the Amalgam first. For the sake of equalizing the board. Now he's gonna want to draw one of our guys. But we're just gonna draw here. This Amalgam should be able to just... Uh, oh. Win. But I need to draw from my deck to make my flying ant more effective. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to play my flying ant at this point. Because I'm going a little bit too fast. I need to draw from my deck. Alpha. 
Ähm... Okay, we have the Ant Queen, so we're good now. Um, I can get unlucky getting a backpack after this fight. So maybe I should be also using the Black Goat soon. Yeah, I think so. So do I just kill him here? I think so. I think so. Mm, I think so. So let's do the combo. Because we drew it. And you go here. Now you go here. And you go here. And now we're behind. We kind of drew it too late, but it's okay. Wait, I used the I used the goat, right? No, I forgot to use it. Well, let's just hope for no backpack rat. Well, actually, would like a backpack rat be truly bad? Because we can pass the pack rat uh, thing on like um, on like an insect, and if we pass it on like let's say amalgam, right? We can then sacrifice the amalgam again and again. It's, we can get infinite items actually. And it's something I didn't think of. So maybe it is the pack right here. I don't think Gek really does much for me at this point. We could also play Urayuli. I mean that's kind of playable with um with, with with like two beehives. That is kind of playable actually. Maybe let's just go for the pack rat. Even though I was trying to avoid it, but now I realize that there might be like a combo. Okay, um, we kind of want to go this way, I think, here, here, here. Is there a card that I would like to duplicate at this point? Not really. Let's go here. And uh, let's see what we can get. Mm, I think I'll go for the... Wait. Maybe I should go for some kind of a one cost. I'll probably just go for the bones. Turkey Vulture. I mean, that's okay. I can farm it up. Ooh, I can combine two cards here. Not sure what I would combine. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm doing this. I don't think it's quite ideal, but I think it's good enough. I think it's good enough.
So we have like infinite backpack items at this point, which is kind of good. We can also like even farm for the final fight and the final boss, uh, the perfect item. That is actually do something that's doable. And we have porcupines here, uh, very good. And we have also beehive, so that's also very good. And we got the amalgam as well. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, yep. 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 Oh, wow. Amazing. Amazing. And the number B. So we're doing like extremely well right now. We could even kill something, but I think we're just fine with like these two items are very good already. And this is kind of like the power of the unkillable bees, right? It is impossible for uh, Lashi to win against this this kind of a hand. And I have also like eight tokens already for Turkey Vulture to play it. Yeah. I should go here because I have curses in my deck. Let's all let's get rid of them. We might be even able to combine something like. Oh, didn't we want to combine the flying ants? I think we did. Uh, we did want to do that. Hmm. Yeah, we can do it. It's gonna make our deck smaller, which is important. Uh, Warren is kind of whatever at this point. Field my sigil on something. We could have infinite ends uh, with the field my sigil. We could play Rattler as well. The mole is surprisingly okay as well. Surprisingly okay. Field mice? Field mice. Field mice on what? We would like to f have field mice on some kind of an insect. What about Raven Egg? Maybe Raven Egg is the play. I'll pick the Rattler, but I don't think it's necessarily a good play. Um, Moleman? Moleman is okay ish. But I, it's not necessarily something I want. Uh, we could pass the Molman sigil on some f kind of an insect, maybe. Pelt lice. Um, what about the douse? I'll pick the Molman. Um, there is an argument about strange larva. Because if it comes to my hand, it's not going to come back as a strange larva. It's going to come back as whatever the evolution was. So maybe it's actually the strange larva. 
we don't want like any more cards really oh shit and we have a uh, we have a backpack coming up i have to remember this uh we're gonna combine these This should be overall better. So I have to remember to like have like one one uh one of these things for the next fight. So I guess we're like killing something, and this looks also kind of dangerous overall. Wow. That's a rough start, honestly. We're taking four damage immediately. So I guess we're not gonna do it with this one. I guess we're searching for a better card. Is there a card that can save me in this situation? I don't remember my deck, bro. Mm, I don't know if there's a card that can save me. If I had like the Warren, then maybe... Wait, okay, I have an idea. Okay, I have an idea, but I will need this. Wait, maybe I won't need it. I mean, we still want to use it, but... So, I can do this. And then I can do this. And then I can do this. And with this, I can do this. And I can do this now, and I can do this. We'll just farm a little bit of bones. This is a really hard fight. Okay, we got the alpha, and I uh, yeah, let's go. So we got the B, which is very important. Very, very important. So we draw here. Turkey Vulture, that's a good thing we've kind of farmed this up a little bit. Yeah, like, these bone cards are kind of uh, coming back to save, save our life. But I have to still count, like... Because uh... right now I'm doing 1, 2... 6 damage. And Lushy is gonna be dealing to me 6, 7. So I'm not quite dead. But I'm gonna get rid of the the sparrow. Why would I get rid of the sparrow? Let's get rid of the wolf. Or the sparrow? I'll get rid of the sparrow. Okay. 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 Uh, a bunch of bees. Uh, just gonna good. 
Yeah, this is fine. This is all fine. I just win at this point if I could that would be quite nice yes I do I'm kind of leaning towards this tentacle, but maybe we can get an insect. I'm kind of leaning towards this tentacle. I think I'll get the tentacle. Uh, alter and then remove. I guess I would kind of prefer just to uh, remove and we just remove the tentacle. See what we get? The bones. Um, do I like boulder kind of? I kind of like the boulder. Oh, we have a combination coming up and I have to go there, which means we will have to combine the beehives, which is not good for me. So we would like to combine something, something entirely else. Because these BIs are like very important for me. Mm. We can figure it out after the fight. This doesn't do anything for the flyers. Uh, but the beehive is kind of useless there. Oh, this is a fight I may be able to lose. Uh, but I may lose, actually. Not if I use, like, the magpie's glass. So here we just have to take the damage, even if we don't like it. I should have some advantage coming into this fight uh, on the next turn, next round. Yeah, this should be doable. And we grab this. No, no, no. I'm supposed to be grabbing this. Now I'm supposed to be looking for the end queen. Yes. And now we have the combo. So, uh, you go here, you go here, now you go uh, here, we got the ant, and now we're gonna be sacrificing the ant. But first we're gonna uh, grab the amalgam, and we're gonna see what he, gave, what he gives us. He gives us flying, 
Uh, we don't really need flying. Um, we kind of want something a little bit better. We kind of want something a little bit better. So I'm just supposed to pass here. Okay. Now we can use the flying. So, uh, we'll use the flying on these guys, because I don't want flying, obviously. So we'll get rid of the amalgam. And we'll try looking for something a little bit better. Okay, we get flying again, we don't want that. I hope that this end queen is like actually infinitely sacrificable, unlike the cat. Yes, I'll be doing this quite a bit. I get another boulder. So, because I'm not sure if I can sacrifice this queen infinitely. Yeah, I'm gonna like make sure and like just set up a tentacle here. I'll be also able to use the turkey vulture soon, so it's okay. Okay, and let's get try to get something a little bit better than the boulders. We want the magpie's glass. Fantastic. But we still want something a little bit better out of this. Uh, this amalgam really wants to fly, huh? Okay, perfect. Uh, I think that's perfect. I think this is perfect. Um, or is it? I would prefer like killing one of the 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 let's just starting creature. But maybe this is this is ideal actually. I think this is a better start. Yeah. Oh, is Amalgam also an ant? Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we just grab some kind of a... Uh, some kind of insect and we hope that it's like an ant queen. And if it is the ant queen, we pass the strange larva or alpha sigil on her. But we have the, the magpie's glass uh, to solve our issue with not drawing beehive on turn one. So maybe we're fine in that regard. Are we looking for some kind of a specific card otherwise? Like one of these. Um... Maybe this is actually the better route. And we try looking for Turkey Vulture, Rattler, Alpha, or Discard. Mm. What about this, though? It's kind of the same thing, kind of. Not really. Maybe let's go here. What kind of bad insect we could get? Uh, a bad insect that we could get, bad, bad insect that we could get would be the cockroach, right? Because everything is cockroach already for us. But cockroach costs... Um, cockroach costs, uh, what do you call it? Bones. And we have infinite bones with our infinite sacrifices. So... Yeah, maybe even the cockroach is, like, not bad. 
Yeah, maybe even cockroach is not bad. I'll decide to go this way. Maybe it ultimately doesn't matter. Ringworm. Uh... What do I do with ringworm then? <laughs> That's really bad. I don't think of a ringworm. I guess we passed the alpha sigil on the ringworm. Ringworm is like probably the worst thing we could get here, possibly. So I have regrets. Um, yeah, we have to pass the sigil to ringworm. <sighs> mm, this is not something I want to do at all. Mm. I mean, we have two magpies glass, and we can get as many magpies glasses as we want. Um, hmm. Okay, so I think we're just winning, right? Yeah, we kind of just win. I'm gonna get rid of the light, give me a second, because it's shining. In my face. Okay, this is a little bit better. Right? There's gold in them cards. And the next thing we're gonna be doing uh, will be just drawing the squirrel cards. I'll just let this guy do his thing. Uh, yep. Yep. And we'll go for it with the regular worker ant at first. And yeah, I'll finish it off with a flying ant. We'll be looking for some kind of a card with a sigil on it. Another pack rat. So we might... We could pass the pack rat sigil again on the strange larva. Yeah, I think I should do that. It's actually very good. That's amazing, actually. <laughs> um, we might be able to just turn one, uh, let's see. This is really good. <laughs> and we'll put this on the strange larva. We'll be able to do whatever we want, actually, like right away. Okay. 
this ringworm and the amalgam. Uh, hmm, that's an interesting idea. No, we just look for the ant queen and the strange larva. And now we look for the strange larva. So now what we can do is we play the smoke, we play the beehive. And now we play the strange larva. Uh, so we get a boulder as a bonus. But we'd like to get something a little bit better. Ooh, wow, another one. So I can just draw my entire deck already. It's kind of nice, I guess. Uh, I'll take the flying ant. Thank you. Another boulder. Oh, thank you. Luckily, there's no limit to how many cards I can have in my hand. So that's what I would call quite convenient. Another one. We'll just draw our deck. Mm, I guess we're just gonna destroy the poor guy. But I would like to kill his mole man, because I really don't like the mole man, you know? Make this range larva flying, we don't care. We want something better, we want to kill the mole man. Wait, can I kill the mole man? Can't I just beat uh, Leshy by, what do you call it? By getting uh, the pliers? Oh, there you go. There you go. Now I feel a little bit more satisfied. Oh yeah, fantastic. Maybe we can just beat Leshy like this, you know? Okay, we can uh, get rid of the moon. Skip that phase as well. Boulder, I don't want it. And we can just like vomit our hands, like turn one. It's pretty good. What is this? Bones. This way didn't have enough already. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at like Lashy's reaction to this. Yeah, as always. The same face. Ooh, I guess I'll get another turn. Thank you, Lashi. Thank you for being a uh, considerate DM. <laughs> Is this considered bullying, you know? I think... I think for a lot of people this video is gonna be cathartic. I'll take another turn. Thank you, Lashi. You're so considerate. And another boulder. Uh. Ooh, okay, I think I'm happy. We've got what we wanted, so let's stop hurting him. Black goat, uh, you go here and we'll play our combo. And queen, got the end. And we'll win just ant style, you know. All the ants. Am I missing one ant in my hand? I am, but it's okay. Because Amalgam is apparently an ant as well. So that's kind of neat. And yeah, so Leshy cannot interact with me anymore. Which I think is reasonable since he had like a double attack wolf on turn one. 
So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this and I'm not going to care. And I drew my entire deck. Quite nice. And your moon cannot attack me, by the way. And I'm just gonna fly over it as well. Thank you, Lashi. Good fight. Alright. Uh, that's it for the video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry that I bullied Lashi. I think he deserves it, if anything. And yeah. Uh, if you guys like the video, feel free to subscribe or like put down some comment as well. Alright, thanks for watching and bye bye. Have a good day.